a new smartphone? This is a great time to buy, and our best phones guide will help you compare and contrast the very best handsets on the market today in 2021. We'll show you the very best smartphones no matter who makes them, what OS they run or how much they cost. Without further ado, let's get to the fun bit, our picks of the very best phones you can buy right now. Number 5. Google Pixel 5. The phone comes with a 6-inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels at a pixel density of 432 pixels per inch. Google Pixel 5 is powered by a 1.8 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor. It comes with 8 GB of RAM. The Google Pixel 5 runs Android 11 and is powered by a 4080 mAh non-removable battery. It supports wireless charging, as well as proprietary fast charging. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Google Pixel 5 on the rear packs a 12.2 megapixel primary camera with an f1.7 aperture and a pixel size of 1.4 micron, and a 16 megapixel camera with an f2.2 aperture and a pixel size of 1.0 micron. The rear camera setup has phase detection autofocus. It sports an 8 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with an f2.0 aperture and a pixel size of 1.12 micron. Google Pixel 5 is based on Android 11 and packs 128 gigabytes of inbuilt storage. It is a dual SIM mobile that accepts nano SIM and eSIM cards. The Google Pixel 5 measures 144.7 by 70.4 by 8 millimeters and weighs 151 grams. It was launched in just black and sorta of sage colors. It features an IP68 rating for dust and water protection. Connectivity options on the Google Pixel 5 include Wi-Fi 802.11, GPS, Bluetooth V5.00, NFC, USB Type-C, 3G and 4G. Number 4. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. The design of the Mi 11 Ultra is stunning. It has an aluminium frame, a curved display with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, and a ceramic back. However, all these premium materials contribute to the 234 grams weight. The back has a 1.1-inch OLED display which can be used to show the battery level, notifications, or even use it as a viewfinder in the camera app. The main display on the Mi 11 Ultra is easily one of the best out there. HDR videos look good when played locally or even on YouTube. Games ran smoothly without skipping a beat. Actual battery life was more than satisfactory during the review period. The areas in which this phone does excel include its excellent build quality, with an IP68 certification, the vivid high refresh rate display, all-day battery life, and the very good set of cameras. The relatively spam-free MyUI experience is also refreshing. The Mi 11 Ultra feels very premium in the hand, in large part because it weighs 239 grams, 0.53 pounds. The Xiaomi smartphone is quite heavy and is not particularly easy to handle. The junctures where the front glass and the ceramic back meet the metal frame are very smooth. The smartphone feels like a solid piece. The 6.81-inch screen is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus. All four corners of the curved OLED panel are rounded. The display has very small bezels. The screen-to-body ratio of the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra amounts to 91.4%. The most noticeable design element of the Mi 11 Ultra is the large camera bump with a secondary display. Whether users like this or not will come down to individual preference. The Xiaomi smartphone does not feel top-heavy. What is more, it does not wobble when it lies on a flat surface. Number 3. OnePlus 9 Pro After nearly seven years and dozens of phones, OnePlus has established itself as a brand that can make great phones that are serious alternatives to the mainstream. The OnePlus 9 Pro achieves that goal with only a handful of notable compromises. This phone is a legitimate flagship smartphone that is genuinely competitive with the best Android phones on the market, at least from a features and quality perspective. Yet in terms of market and mind share, it's still destined to be a niche device for a small group of enthusiasts looking for a specific kind of elegance in their Android device. The hardware design on the OnePlus 9 Pro is the most seamless, elegant phone that the company has designed to date. It has a 6.7-inch screen that goes from edge to edge in a body that's narrow enough to make it just barely usable in one hand. 
The glass on the front and back curves into the aluminum rail on the edges with no seams at all. It's well balanced, beautiful, and solid. To be fair, OnePlus does keep some of its identity in the three stage ringer switch, which easily lets you toggle between a ringer, vibration, and fully silent. The OnePlus 9 Pro has the top tier Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor, which is paired with 8 gigs of RAM on the 128 gigabytes model. Unfortunately, this configuration isn't sold in North America. OnePlus originally expected to make it available, but later said that supply constraints led it to offer only the more expensive version with 256 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM. It supports both sub-6 and millimeter wave styles of 5G. But there's a significant caveat. The phone supports it, but OnePlus has only managed to land 5G certification from its carrier partner, T-Mobile. If you buy it unlocked as of now, it will only work with T-Mobile's 5G network. Everything else will be LTE. AT&T 5G support doesn't appear to be in the cards at all, and as for Verizon, OnePlus says that it continues to work with Verizon to certify both the 9 and 9 Pro on its 5G network. Later, on March 26, Verizon announced that it would support 5G on the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Number 2. iPhone 12 Pro. Equipped with impressive features and decent specifications, the Apple iPhone 12 Pro is a perfect choice. The phone offers a slip-free grip as it is light in weight and is easy to carry. This phone comes with a 6.10-inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1170 by 2532 pixels at a pixel density of 460 pixels per inch. The iPhone 12 Pro supports wireless charging, as well as proprietary fast charging. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 12 Pro on the rear packs a 12-megapixel primary camera with an f1.6 aperture a 12-megapixel camera with an f2.4 aperture, and a 12-megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture. The rear camera setup has autofocus. It sports a 12-megapixel camera on the front for selfies with an f2.2 aperture. The iPhone 12 Pro supports face unlock with 3D face recognition. Apple also introduced Apple Pro RAW for its Pro line. A new imaging format combining raw photography with computational photography features like Deep Fusion and Smart HDR. This includes having full control over color, details, and dynamic range, all from the iPhone's camera app. iPhone 12 Pro is based on iOS 14 and packs 64GB of inbuilt storage. It's a dual SIM mobile that accepts Nano SIM and eSIM cards. The iPhone 12 Pro measures 146.7 x 71.5 x 7.4 mm, and weighs 189 grams. It was launched in gold, graphite, pacific blue, and silver colors and it features an IP68 rating for dust and water protection. Connectivity options on the iPhone 12 Pro include Wi-Fi 802.11, GPS, Bluetooth V5, NFC, Lightning, 3G and 4G. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's the company's most premium smartphone yet, with a strong focus on cameras. This new model boasts of 100x space zoom and 8 kelvins video recording, but with an improved shooting experience and even better image quality. Cameras are the main star of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. There's a new generation 108 megapixel primary camera, 12-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera and two telephoto cameras. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G has a mighty impressive set of rear cameras, and all of them have important roles to play, unlike phones with dedicated depth or macro cameras. The Ultra includes 12GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. You can also upgrade to 256GB of storage and to a model with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. The phone is also a true blue flagship with cutting-edge components like the Exynos 2105 GSOC. It managed to run graphically intensive games at the QHD Plus resolution. The Galaxy S21 Ultra also fully supports Samsung's S Pen, which is sold as an accessory. The Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G doubles up as an excellent device for media consumption. The 6.8-inch AMOLED display gets incredibly bright, and colors look rich and punchy. 
The 5000 mAh battery capacity is the same as what the Galaxy S20 Ultra had, and easily lasts for more than a full day of heavy to medium usage. The new design makes the Ultra 5G look way better than previous models. Samsung's new contour cut design for the camera module is unique, and manages to mask the camera bulge pretty well. The selfie camera is also equally competent here, with a sleek design, hyperfast processing and a battery that won't quit before you do. You can create, connect and do more of what you love.